This presentation is made for a company called Pallable International. And as you know, Sean always tells us that project management methodologies, they are meant to be tailored. So I don't have a name for my methodology because I tailored it for this specific company. Hence, it's called Pallable Projects because the company name is Pallable. So if you come to me and ask for a methodology, I'm not going to give you my standard methodology. You will have to bring me to your company and I will design one for you. So let's look at this. This is the overall kind of structure. Pretty simple. You initiate a project. So what does initiation mean? We have certain number of inputs. Often it is a project proposal then followed by a business case where you will talk about what is in it, how you are going to achieve it, and the output should be a project charter. Project charter is like a birth certificate, so if you are running on a project, you must have a project charter according to my description. And then we go to planning stage. So this is also the most crucial stage in any project. Let's see what it includes. So, one important input is requirements analysis. Often you will find that companies are now doing more serious works where it could affect someone's life, as Steve said. So one small error can result into someone else's life loss. So requirements analysis is really important. And so is lessons learned. Imagine, if I do a great project and I learn something by doing a really bad mistake, what is going to happen next? Daddy is going to come up again, and she is going to do the same mistake and also suffer loss and then learn. Why don't we just learn from someone else's mistakes? So, after this, we are also looking at some templates. So, planning stage will provide you some templates. So, our methodology will have you set on the track so that if you follow all these templates, then you are in safe direction. You don't need to worry about missing anything. So we have project management overall plan and communication plan, risk management plan, implementation plan, and change management plan, and quality management plan. So let's look at the execution phase. So now, Bale Bale works in software development. This methodology is a mixture of suggestions by the Tasmanian government and it is also influenced by agile approach. Let's look at this stage in a bit deeper way. Look at that. Does it remind you of anything? Who knows what it looks like? Recycling. <laughs> <laughs> That's very good. It is a recycling. So you could say cycling in an efficient way. So what is it? Develop, deliver, learn. So the overall emphasis on this methodology is to learn from your mistakes. So this delivery, it could be to your internal customer or it could be to your external customer. So once you deliver, then you get a feedback, then you learn, and then you do again. So let's look at what's next. So what is involved in actually doing? Here is another one. So when you are developing software, often what happens is you have some ready-made software chunks. You have a library which you can just use as it is. So this is what is indicating that library. So you may not need to develop any software at all. You could just use it from the library. But then you analyze, you review, and then you design, and then you document, and then you implement. So as we saw here, you must document so that you can learn because learning is most important. Then, so is change. Without change, we can't survive. Change is inevitable. And learning allows us to adapt and to change. We also have some templates to assist you in implementing proper change. Here is one example. This is a change form. You may have heard about change requests. 
So what happens after a change is approved? Have you ever thought about it? So this method allows you to track this change through this live form, which is active throughout the change is implemented. So an engineer will do a background research, he will also do some analysis, he will perform some root cause analysis, and then he will document what will this change mean, what documents will be affected, and what is the execution plan, who is going to implement, and who is going to be responsible for driving that change. And then finally the results. So if you look at this overall process, any customer can also drive a change. For example, you are developing a website for someone, and the customer suddenly decides, oh, I saw this really cool website. Is it possible to bring that flash animations in our website? So then you must also follow this change, and then it will also affect the plan. And then learnings are never missed. So here it is, a methodology which you can tailor. And any questions, please feel free to ask me now or send me an email. <laughs> <laughs>